Thank you for your interest in our project information meeting for the SR A1A Astronaut Boulevard Maintenance and Safety Improvement Project. Mr. Gene Verano is the Florida Department of Transportation's project manager, and Ms. Julie Tom is the consultant project manager. The purpose of this public meeting is to share information about the proposed project with the public and to provide answers to any questions that may arise. This meeting, project, or study is being conducted without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns relative to FDOT compliance with Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, FDOT District 5, Title VI Coordinator, at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, DeLand, Florida, 32720 or telephone 386-943-5367 or email jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, at 605 Suwannee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450. Or telephone 850 414 4753 or email jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us. All inquiries or complaints will be handled according to FDOT procedure and in a prompt and courteous manner. For project information, please visit www.cflroads.com. This website is FDOT's platform to keep you and the public informed of ongoing and future projects. You are encouraged to visit this website, which contains links for easy access to online information and to stay current with the status of the project. Once you have accessed the project website, you will be able to view the current project schedule details, project contact information, and access project files such as this presentation. To access the project website, Go to www.cflroads.com. On the main page, from the pulled-out menu labeled Road, select SRA1A, then click Search. When the new page opens, click the link labeled Future Projects, and then select the project number for this project, which is 434417-1. The project is located in Brevard County, adjacent to Port Canaveral. The project begins south of the intersection of SRA-1A Astronaut Boulevard and George King Boulevard and continues northwest to the end of the project at the intersection of SRA-1A Astronaut Boulevard and SR-401. The primary objective of this project is to provide maintenance to the existing pavement on SRA-1A Astronaut Boulevard. Additional improvements will be made to the corridor as part of this maintenance project, including traffic enhancements for motorists. These improvements are designed to increase safety for all users of SRA-1A Astronaut Boulevard. This project has been designed to minimize impacts to utilities and limit disruption to traffic during construction to the greatest extent possible. Due to deficiencies in the existing roadway pavement, the surface of the asphalt needs to be replaced. This will be done by milling the top layer of asphalt and placing new asphalt on top. In addition to repairing the pavement, this project will provide safety and operational improvements throughout the corridor. Some of the safety improvements which will be implemented as part of this project include updating existing curb ramps at the ramp tie-ins to George King Boulevard to meet current ADA criteria, correcting the roadway cross slope, and upgrading the existing guardrails. This project will also include correcting the profile approaching the overpass at George King Boulevard. The figure above shows the limits of the profile correction to be done approaching the overpass at George King Boulevard. Due to settlement in the existing bridge approach slabs, the current approach to the bridge creates an unnecessary bump that needs to be corrected. The figure below shows the existing condition of the bridge approach with a dashed line and the proposed profile as a solid line. As you can see from the figure, the dip in the approach will be filled in to create a smooth transition onto the bridge. 
This graphic shows the typical roadway characteristics of SR A1A Astronaut Boulevard within the first half mile of the project. Astronaut Boulevard accommodates two lanes of travel in each direction with a 40-foot grass median and an 8-foot shoulder including shoulder gutter and guardrail. This graphic shows the typical roadway characteristics of SR A1A Astronaut Boulevard within the final half mile of the project. Here, Astronaut Boulevard accommodates three lanes of travel in each direction with a 40-foot grass median and a 10-foot outside shoulder. This project is designed to be beneficial to all roadway users. The existing sidewalk ramps and pedestrian signals at the ramp tie-ins to George King Boulevard will be evaluated and replaced where necessary to meet current ADA criteria. The newly repaired roadway will correct pavement deficiencies and provide an improved riding surface for vehicular traffic. During construction of this project, measures will be taken to ensure the safety of construction workers and the traveling public. To provide this measure of safety, nighttime lane and ramp closures will be necessary while pavement work is being performed. Ramp closures will be short-term with detour routes clearly marked. The design of this project began in October of 2014 and is currently in the development phase of design. Design will be completed in early 2017 and construction will begin in the spring of 2017. Construction is anticipated to be complete in the fall of 2017. The design cost for this project is about $300,000 and the construction cost is estimated to be approximately $1.7 million. Comments on this project are welcome. Please send us your comments and questions by clicking on the Submit Comments and Questions link on this website or by mailing the evaluation and comment form available to you at the meeting by October 26, 2015. Your comments, questions, and concerns will be addressed and will then become a part of the project file. This concludes the presentation for the SRA1A Astronaut Boulevard Maintenance and Safety Improvement Project. Thank you for your interest in our project and we thank you for taking the time to view our public information meeting presentation. Please feel free to contact us at any time regarding any questions or concerns you may have.